Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Yes, my hands are free today. <laughs> I'm recording this video on this video thing pole over there with a beautiful backdrop here in Thailand, guys. Again, in this video today, a beautiful chart. I think two amazing charts, a trading tip, a travel tip, uh, a mindset trip, uh, some news, also news for the VIPs, what is happening with the indicators. Uh, short but powerful video, as I was a little bit late today, I needed to do with visas first, but let's jump quickly into the charts and then show you what I think that is happening to Bitcoin today from this beautiful Thailand. Bam. There's only two charts today, guys, but this is the first chart. The first chart is a beautiful Gaussian channel I've been talking about the last couple of weeks, guys. I told you when we will go to that midline of the Gaussian channel and we create a huge wick, we will try and go again, break that top line of the Gaussian channel. And that is exactly what we did with that previous candle. The wick went above that top line. Now, this candle is going to close in one day and 14 hours. They need to break that top line. It doesn't need to be this candle. It can be also the next five day candle. Every candle is five days on this chart. But the important part is that we break that top line. And when we break that top line, that would be very positive and bullish for Bitcoin. Then again, for me, the bull run is massively on because that is always happening in the pre-phase of the bull run. We will get sucked into this Gaussian channel. We will break out of again of it, maybe retest it one more time and then bam, fly up to the moon again, guys. Now let's go into the next chart. The next chart is only this one, guys. This chart is very clear. You can see that orange line and we can see that black line. And if you look at the orange peaks, they are always when the black line is also at the peak. And if you look at that orange line, when it enters that green area, that is the moment you should be buying Bitcoin. And look where we are now. We just left that green area. We are even close to retesting that green area. This is the moment you should be buying. Look at the previous period. In 2018, we came into that green area. Then in 2000. 20 we retested that green area that was the perfect moment to buy bitcoin's bottom and go in that beautiful bull run now again we were in that green area that was the bitcoin bottom now we are almost retesting it so you should be dollar cost averaging into bitcoin every day at the moment because there will be a moment that the orange line will go into that pinkish area and that will be the moment to sell not now now not selling, no weak hands, not selling your Bitcoins to that 1% rich people that is gonna buy Bitcoin through spot ETFs. You need to hodl and buy more. That is the only thing you need to do today. Buy a shitload of Bitcoin because it will lead to another bull run in the next couple of months. That were the charts for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed those two charts, guys. Yes, in Bitcoin, it's very important. You zoom out. Look at the bigger picture of Bitcoin. Don't freak out about every single minute change in the charts and zoom in that life. Try to focus on all the moments in your life that you need to be enjoying every single minute of the day, even when you're stressed out because of what happened today. But I'm not going to spend too much attention to that issue, guys. I will uh, inform the people um, in the VIP group what is happening, and that is all the things I need to say. If you want to buy Bitcoin or start trading, then use the links down below this video use the bible link it's, it's there for the grabs guys you can grab all the way up to thirty thousand us dollar in bonus depending on how much you deposit you get thirty dollar for free just for signing up thirty dollar in your account and if you then uh, deposit a little bit more bitcoins you get a bonus up to thirty thousand us dollar very soon i think next week i'm gonna start with something really unique for only the users that signed up with my link it's completely unique and you will be able to win a shitload of prizes but you need to have signed up using my links, guys. But that's next week. But now let's quickly jump into the trading tip for today. Bam. The trading tip is not really a tip for today, guys, but it's about our signals group. There's a VIP signals group that you can access for free if you use the Bible links to sign up to Bible, guys. And if you didn't use it, there's also a payment options, but I prefer you guys to just sign up and get access for free to this group. The last two results of these trades were I think 4% profit and 8% profit. So the October month at the moment is 12% profit. September, we had some profits and some losses, but on average it was a minus 4% month. And this is exactly the indication of how the signal group works. We will not be able to win every trade. We will make some losses, but the winners will be bigger than the losses, guys. In total, in the last 13 months, we made more than 250% gain with this system. If you want to have access to this Telegram VIP signal group, guys, the only thing you need to do is use the link down below. You click there, you will go into a Telegram bot. There you leave your Bybit user ID. 
if that ID is an ID that came to Bybit through my links, you will automatically be added to that Telegram group. If that doesn't happen, you can still use the sign-up form on the bitcoinfamily.com. So strange to not have my hands tight. Yeah, you can see it's a little bit awkward. I need to get used to that. But that's the trading tip for today, guys. If you don't have the time to trade for yourself, then either become an investor or either use indicators or signals from a group that are reliable signals from a good trader that uses a system, not just pump and dumps. We trade Bitcoin USDT in a system. You will see if you enter the Telegram group, there is all the results, all the Excel sheets, all the trades we did. It's all publicly out there so you can check it for yourself, guys. That was the trading tip for today. Which brings me to the travel tip, guys. Yes, the travel tip this time is a little bit funny, but I just like that. It's like one of my passions. If you travel to Thailand, then don't bring sex toys. <laughs> sex toys are illegal in Thailand. I know this is going to make you laugh. And I know that you think Thailand, like happy, happy, long time, happy end here, happy end there. Yes, but sex toys are still illegal. You can't buy sex toys in Thailand. And I know that you freaky bastards out there, you 50 shades of gray guys want to have sex toys. There is still ways to get them in Thailand but I would not take them from your home country into Thailand. Mostly they won't say anything like at the border control, but if they like pull out your dildo, like it's like, ah, it's a little bit of a strange situation, but it's still illegal. There is some websites where you can uh, order that stuff, but they are called massagers. So how do I know? Uh, that's a secret, but you can order them as a massager. <laughs> it's for your back pain, you know? And your back pain comes mostly for when people stab you in the back. Yeah, and that happened to me, but I'm not gonna tell anything about that as well. It's like, I, it's difficult to not say anything about it, and I just wanna keep up my head high. I was stabbed in my back, I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna build back better. Who said it again? Was I Klaus Schwab? <laughs> I'm not Klaus Schwab, but I'm really gonna build back better. Uh, but yes, that massage toy you can use for your back and your cheeks and for all the other <laughs> locations. So that's the travel tip for the day sex toys in Thailand still illegal so if somebody wants to become an entrepreneur maybe that could be a cool business the moment it goes legal in Thailand there was a new law proposed but uh, that proposal has not been accepted yet so till now it's still illegal to sell sex toys that was the travel tip for today yes a little bit kinky but we need some craziness on these strange days in these strange industries like Bitcoin where every day again is a new roller coaster ride that was the travel tip for today And the whole situation that happened to me today, guys, uh, gives me this new inspirational thought. Uh, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And that's how I see everything in life. So also to those people that scammed me this year for 200k, that didn't kill me, it made me stronger. And that's also for today, guys. Even when you get stabbed in the back, like I got stabbed in the back today by a person that I really thought that was a friend and a business partner, uh, apparently we thought different. Now, uh, it's a whole fucking situation, but I don't want to disclose anything about it. I'm respectful to this person, you know. I'm not childish, I'm not a backstabber. If he is, it's his issue. I will leave it where it is at the moment, and I promise you guys, I will come back with something better for you guys, a better solution. Now, that was the beauty Beautiful inspirational tip for today, bam! Which brings me to the last part, guys. The last part is again answering a question of one of your followers. The question was from a follower about the visas. They were like, Didi, if you're staying six months, seven months, eight months in Thailand, how do you solve it with your visa? This question was already asked, but I'm gonna reply to this once again, because today I was in Patong to arrange our visas. So if you wanna stay longer, in the normal 30 days or 60 days that you get, you can do a few things. One of the things is an educational visa, which means you apply for a school, English or Thai lessons, you get an educational visa and you can stay for one year. Every 90 days you need to extend your ex educational visa, so you need to be in that country every nine days to extend that visa and not travel too much, but if you do that, that way you can stay one year in Thailand. The other option is a business visa, which means you get a job or a company in Thailand and then your wife and kids can uh, be attached to you as a personal uh, working in Thailand. And that's a non-O visa, they call that, and then you will be able to stay about 15 months 
in Thailand without any issues of flying out and coming back. So it's a little bit more expensive, the business option, uh, and the cheaper option is the education option. It all depends on what you want to do, but there's amazing companies here in Phuket that set everything for you up, that arrange all your visas, do all the work for you guys, so uh, you don't need to find out everything yourself. There is a company helping you with that. And if you want more information about that company, I will be soon making a video at that company, and we'll also put it on YouTube, so you will understand exactly how we solve the complete visa troubles in Thailand. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts, of the trading tip, of the travel tip, of the inspirational tip? What do you think of the backstabbing thing? <laughs> the backstabbing thing? Do you like to be backstabbed? And what do you think about the tool that you can use uh, to massage that backstab wound over there again? I'm going to try to use that tool tonight. Uh, but not on my back. Now, that was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. See you tomorrow again. Bam!